She was quite late because she was at a photo shoot before that. I'm sorry, I'm four or five hours late. I was like, you're here now, we have a chance. Like, cool, like, I know how much, you know, the artists are doing and are going through in these critical moments of celebrating an album. And this was her moment of miseducation of Lauryn Hill. It was Honey Magazine. They were starting a magazine and they wanted to really like lean in. They got her, she was a perfect fit. And I was like, I'm gonna play into the Honey tones, you know, the different sort of degrees. She was six months pregnant and she was glowing, man. I mean, she must have felt just like on top of the world, like just floating along. There was a mirror on set that was sort of off camera and she would be looking off to her right and she'd give the most amazing look and then look back to me and it was gone. She would do it again and just get perfect and then look back to me and it was gone. And I was like, you gotta share some of those looks. So the dynamic was how to do this dance to make her comfortable with how she was appearing to herself. So I said, let's try this. And so I took the mirror and I shot with a mirror under my chest, full length mirror. So it could just be a look down and then a look up and then it wasn't lost. For the cover, we ended up, there was just like a little roundness that sort of looked kind of like a belly, but not fully pregnant and not really embracing it. And I was like, you know, I just wanted to be focused on her rather than the moment of being pregnant. And so we just retouched a little bit of the belly back in. So it just kind of wasn't a distraction from her, you know, even though certainly it was Zion in her belly, which became part of the song, which became part of the album, which, you know, I mean, it's, it's a major, major moment. <laughs> 